Hey folks, I'm Sylvain Glory and welcome to part 44 of my campaign is Gondor in Divide and Conquer. Um, so looking at this, if you ignore the bottom right hand of the screen, um, things look reasonably good. When you look in a bit more detail at our army in here in particular, uh, things don't look anything like so good. I'm going to pull these guys back here straight away um, and we'll replace them with the Gondor archers. Um, and I think I'll also merge up those two units. Should I pull them back? I don't know if I can afford to pull them back. Hmm. Uh, now, so uh, we have absolutely no money. We've got less money coming in. So. That's a big problem. We'll find out the reason for that soon. Uh, Kira Andros, we're under siege. Um, the army here is strong enough. We're going to sally out a second time against this army. Um, but the reason for our dire straits are all down here. So we've lost Pelargar to the weapon. Variags. Um, I've got a host of generals and a few units that we're sending down to try and retake that. We've also got some more cav up here. Not much in the way of infantry though, these guys can't get there. So we'll have to lay siege anyway, um, hopefully they'll be, they'll be able to reinforce. Uh, we've also lost Fan Willand and um, this is Brethel, I think, which uh, the Variags have also taken. Dol Amroth have sent out what's probably their final army to try and retake Linher. And I'm about to try and retake Edelond, or to take Edelond for the first time uh, from the Adonaiim. And hopefully everything out here is going to remain peaceful while we're at this business. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. Uh, this army laid siege to Edelond before, but they sallied out against us. We weren't strong enough to resist, so we'll just pull back. Uh, allow us to concentrate all our forces here. And then we'll go and lay siege. Uh, let's get two rams. I don't know if we need ladders, but we'll get them anyway. All right. That's just a general there, and he can't make it over here anyway. I would like you... I don't know if you can attack from there. I think you have to attack from this point here. So let's have your lay siege anyway. Let us claim this field. And you don't have the infantry really to open up a second gate. So maintain the siege. We'll bring you around here. And we'll bring this infantry here. And we'll try and get you in there to support the attack when it goes in. They don't have obviously very much in the city. Mostly cav. Uh, and I suppose then that's us. That I do wonder about bringing these troops over. I think we'll send them to Giliath if we can get them in there. We'll make camp here. And for a penny and for a pound as far as being in dire straits financially is concerned. And I guess that's us then. Up here we have our diplomat somewhere around. Where are you? Oh, did I send him off on a mission? No, that was the other one, I think. So where's our diplomat disappeared to? Yes, my lord. There he is, there. He's already been down. <laughs> right. Yeah, so you are now... Just making your way back Without down question. to talk to Gondor, Tomorrow's probably. Oh, there's no real out. reason to speak to Gondor. Actually, come over here. Stopping here. Um, we're not getting any alliances, apart from Ened Wyth, who came and offered us an alliance. Another diplomat lady is there. Um. Have we completed this? No, we've not. We've got one turn left. 
to talk to yes, these orcish fellows and try and get some sort of agreement with them. You bring a proposition for my king. Trade rights. We have no complaints with this plan. That's all we ask. We accept. Good. That'll do. And how about actually, if we give you map information, like to we need cash. You're rich, so how about giving us some money? Let's try that. Unfortunately, we cannot accept this. 1700 gold doesn't clear out our debt. And we'll accept it anyway. Good. Your time was most valuable. And that gives us uh, a unit of farmhand pikemen. And I suppose it's better than the bloody boats that we used to get when we completed a mission. So. Farmhand pikemen. I guess we're sending them down to Pelarga as, as well. Wish. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Right. Uh, diplomats are done. Everyone's moved. So we'll sally out up Put here, make this attack, heart. and um, I'll fight this one off camera, and I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to end the turn. Okay, so... Uh, cleared victory this time. We whittled them down as far as we could with our archers and then sallied out and attacked them. Um, 16 casualties for the Territorial Guardsmen. I think that's the company that fought the Temple Wards. There's only two or three of them left by that point. And the General did most of the heavy lifting in the melee combat. The General, Denethor. So anyway, that's, um, well, I suppose not only is Kerandros relieved, the siege is broken, and uh, we also didn't lose our baggage train. Do we get to loot the besiegers' baggage train? We should do, if we've sallied out and defeated them. Okay, so enemy camp is sacked. It gives us a wee bit more money. Uh, relations worsened. And enemy army routes. And our army should be in fine fettle. Fortunately, we don't have to do too much retraining because we can't afford any. So, with that, we can end the turn and move on. Ah, uh, so, a naval battle. Adol Amroth are involved in it. In fact, they're the instigators. So we'll go ahead and resolve this. A clear victory, although we still didn't manage to sink their ship. Uh, Linher is back in Dol Amroth's hands as well, which is good to see. Uh, that might relieve some of the pressure on us. I would like to see uh, the Variags throwing their forces back to engage Dol Amroth again around Linher. Let me retake Pelargar. Uh, okay, that's 
fine. I was expecting Kirandros to be besieged again. And as Gilead looks to be free at the moment. Ah, okay. I had not expected to bring a full army against that fort with the wee general in it. Blockade port. Uh, Goblin Merlond. With, rewarded with a military unit. I'd rather have the cash, to be honest, but... Um, well, we've kept the fleet around all this time, so I may as well go ahead and do that. Condor Spearman. We seem to be retrained. But we need to get our cash back, so... We need to take Pelargar. Um, Brethel. I'd much rather that army had gone up here. Never mind. Where's our fleet? And where do we need to go? I've forgotten. Uh, Goblin Merlond. So, it's not too far away. Ships ready. Let's come down here. Fleet cannot sail there. I'll sail there then. Set sail. Why have you stopped? You Ships blocked ready. by what? Keep coming. Come on. Ships ready. Uh, A fine day sail to sail. Yes, sir. Yeah, Full that's where sail. we need to go. So we'll get there next time. See how long we last before the navy shows up. Right, so what do we have? We've got uh, these troops will, no one in there. By your command, my lord. We only have two. Joining forces, and that should lord. be more than enough to take out Pelargar. And up here we've got Edhalond. Well I think we'll fight Edhalond first. Awaiting your command. Well, this evil. Go ahead. Uh, let's save. And then assault. I did have another crash when I was resolving that last battle. Uh, go ahead and attack. Let them have it, man. Yeah, so. It's not too bad, it's only two crashes in the entire campaign. Um, and both have been at Kirandra, so it might be to do with that map rather than anything else. Units, await my orders. Uh, it looks like there's an entrance there. We can't get round to the sides, so we'll just start here uh, with our archers. I don't know if they'll come towards us. I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, let's do that anyway and then we'll have... You don't need to hold the siege equipment any longer. Let's be a wee bit fancy. I don't normally do this sort of thing in medieval 2. Okay. And then... Yeah, we just have you back there with... This general's going to probably lead the assault. Cav, stay out of the way from now. Let's start the battle. The archers to come up. We can't get any further than that. Can't seem to get into that area. Uh, good to have you, as I said, come up to the front there and we'll have the territorial guardsmen and our infamous pikemen in behind. Let's take you out of there actually. And the melee infantry in there. And the cav. 
what to decide. Right, um, fast forward until we get into position. Can't see where the enemy are yet, but I would imagine they are up in the centre of the city. And we have Black Root Veil Archers, they don't have the range, ah, but they've just come out of range, nice. I was going to say they don't have the range of the Ithelian Rangers. Okay, General. You come and stand there. Let's have Be ready, you up to here. And these guys have even shorter range. So we'll have you there. Territorial Guardsmen. Again, we've got a problem about who you can actually set up. Okay, stand there for now. That's fine. Right. Just move up a wee bit further there until we get some shooting going on down here. And then why not take the Anphalus Pike men? We'll get them in here. Well, so we don't have the great angles for shooting there. And nicely behind the crest. But I want another two units in there. What do we have? Yeah, there we go. 165, 163 uh, missiles as well. So two companies of missiles. Archers and some light infantry en route as well. Right. The white city will provide. Uh, set up there. And get into a spear wall. But the general you should be able to go and attack them. Although it's a slammed clansman, although you've got armor on you are still only light infantry. So you need to go and help out there. The battle is very much in our favour. Okay. Victory will be ours. Let's help you come and stand here. Just as a screen to those archers. General back. Just give them a bit of a break. Let the pikemen get in front and see if they do any better against the raiders here. Which you would expect them to do. Okay, I think I want the archers to change the targets for now. I need them to sell troops and try and push them down the numbers here. And it's nice that they're in that elevated position, even so this guy just gets shot in the ass. Now, medium infantry. 
Here, we'll bring you up instead. Um, just come over and replace them. And we'll slip you in front of this unit here when it's out of arrows. And the medium infantry seems to have drawn back. Interesting. Right. Okay, well, go back to shooting the archers then. You, you do the same. I think these guys here. I was going to say they might run soon, but they're still eager. The general will get back in there. In fact, let's try and get you to come up around the flank. Give me some leadership as well. Shaking, so hitting them. Yeah, taking some damage. Go for the bigger unit now. Hardly like anybody's getting any arrows there. You pull back um, over to here. You can stand there for now. If we got medium infantry on its way back. Here, and you can come forward. You're going right. Let's take you off guard mode. Try and get you into formation again. And you're coming back again. We've not lost too many men. Let's bring you up, ready to get into the action. And you're out of ammo, so you pull back as well. And uh, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's four, four territorial guardsmen are there. Bring you up, and again difficult to get you to stand where I want you. Link to 18, still standing firm. Infantry there, given we don't have any medium or heavy of our own, other than the pikemen, they're uh, exhausted already. So let's try and give them a bit of a breather. Let's pull you up there, bring you back. gets us up onto level ground. To bring you up as well. Position. Okay. 
okay, and it's not really running, but it's also better than nothing. Just by there, we've got the 11 troops. So who's this? Heavy infantry. Ah. Okay. It's a nice surprise. And we can get around the flanks there, so we'll have uh, you two come up over to here. Do it that way. Good God, come on. There we go. That'll do. Right. You. Start attacking them. Still winded. You into shield wall there. Can we get around this flank as well? We might be able to. Let's get us some Gondor militia. Once again. Right, if we so you can like get this, there. We will smash the enemy. After a fashion. Do that. Okay. We take here. Take off guard mode as well. Let's see if you can't smash these guys. I forgot in there. Next air troops is also late infantry. 58, uh, 91, and 108. There's three companies of archers in there. Right, let's bring our cav around. I think there is maybe more scope for the cav if we brought you up here. charge into the back of that heavy infantry if we get the chance. Uh, you guys are still exhausted. You're warmed up now. Okay. Can you get around here? Looks like it. through these guys well enough it seems and what do we have back there just raiders um, the medium infantry and the heavy infantry and there's light infantry that that's only 12 of them okay you come around to here Although, yeah, I'm not going to charge into them until they're engaged to the front. Take those 62 missile troops. Take those. In fact, you hit the 62 as well. And over here, you go and engage them. I probably want to bring the infamous pikemen up around here. They're only very tired now. So that's a slight improvement. Can you come up and try and get up onto the level ground there? Militia. Numbered. Slightly. So we'll just have you get into the old shield wall. Not done here yet. The 
enemy are badly bloodied. Good. They have lost half their no, you men. Can't move through there. Let's have you. Let's try get up there. We'll try and sneak you past. These guys have come in and attacked our shield wall. Let's move you. No, too late. Right. So we need to get into the back of these guys. Pikemen on their way around. Let's bring the general around here. And we'll need to burst our way through there. We're going to have to attack them. And... You two. We're in there. Oh, we've got more troops over here. Late infantry. Well, we've got heavy cav. So you go and attack them, try and break them and get them into the rear that way. Hold on what can there. Okay, do you have anyone down here apart from the cell troops? I do. Let's get you guys up and ready to join in. Get up to there. Uh, maybe a few come around here as well. And for us pike men. Watch around there. And again, there's nowhere really for you to go just now. Uh, no, you come back. God almighty, this is a bit of a pain. Right, they've still got 51 men there. I want you to charge them. So lower your lances and get in. Nope. On the other hand, don't bother lowering your, lowering your lances. Maybe you didn't have enough space. off them. Um, let's do it this way. And we'll bring you back up to here. Forget about that for now. You've already lost two of your number. Um, any chance of breaking through here? Not when um, guard mode any longer. You fresh again. Let's get you against them. And we'll need you to come up to here. And then we'll try and get you into the spear wall. And pull these ter territorial guardsmen back. Spear wall. I'm not entirely sure. That to me looks like it's not active. Come on, uh, are you going to load your spears, please? The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Yeah, that's good to know. Right. Hope we do that. Right, so that is it, unactivated. Right, you come out of shield wall. Run back there. And these guys take over. Because you've only taken about ten men off them. Back around here. And can you push through there? Ignore everyone else. And 
Looks like he will attack them. Okay. Um, pull you back for now. You're exhausted. Your comrades there are also exhausted. I haven't taken many casualties, but you've actually have obviously suffered. You go and attack them. Let's see if we can break these uh, Nardu Tarek. And. You can stay where you are. Let's have a few. Um, go and attack them. You come around to here. At the run. These guys taking more casualties now. But we'll go and try and grab the city centre. You attack them. And we should have more militia than we are. Yeah, let's have you come around this way as well. Attacking there. Uh, let's have you come up into the city centre too for now. We'll get the cav. Try to get them in here somewhere. Okay. Our men have taken control of the city. Good stuff. Uh, here we go. These guys coming up from the valley down there. We've lost control of the city. Down to 51. So we're making slow progress. Some of you come through and join in that fight. We need to concentrate on them now. And a cab is coming around there. Let's get you to charge into the back of the, presumably the general's unit. Yes, no. Let's get down there and attack them. Alright, they are going down. Let's have you come back up. Add your numbers to the fight. Guard mode. And down to 87. 46. Let's try again. I want the cav to try and get into a position where it can charge, but I can't really set up anywhere. down to 21, so hopefully they'll break air long. I'll try this charge again, but there's not really a lot of space. No run up for them. So I think we continue we'll like this, we'll we will the general out, but he's only Light infantry. Let's bring the calf back. Attack into there. We can get these pikemen through what's left of them. Now, these pikemen actually, I'd rather, but there's even fewer of them. Uh, so, you. There. And what do we have? Still got five of the medium infantry there, so it's not too bad. Let's get this general to come over here. I'll try and get him involved up in that battle. It's not going well. I think we might rely on taking the town centre. 
You get into position there. And you there. And you can throw your weight in there too. Cav might make a slight difference in there. Tired. Gonna attack them anyway. Let's get the pipes down again. Attack them. Attack them. Our men are in command of the city. Okay. So, let's see, There's, again only taking a few losses, we're going to be, I think, relying on the timer. Could you, again, I don't think there's any point throwing, in, like, throwing the cav against heavy infantry when you can't get a charge in. I might just actually pull them out completely. Ten left there, still got a lot there. I think we'll have this militia form up there and we can go and attack these guys as well. But they're wavering, they're going. There's hardly anybody left in there. Over here, we've got they are still eager, but only 23 of them left now, so the numbers are dropped significantly. Then we'll send Anfos Pike on over. You attack there and finish them off. And we should be good. Make sure that you stay well in the... No, not you. Over there, you stand there. And I don't know if I need to send any more over against the general. Only ten of them left. Let's take them off guard mode. Troops from this army. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. You now go and find somebody to stab. Anyone left in there? Doesn't look like it. So it's only the four guys here we need to worry about then. Throw the cab in against them. I suppose we'll fast forward. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. How many have we lost? Lost 41% of our men. We'll see how many we recover after the battle. But the main thing, obviously, is taking this turn. general lies dead. Be awed by the victory we have won we here today. Uh, 830 losses. Okay, so yeah, I think we're we're generally okay. And for Spikeman, still get 89 men there. They got a lot of replenishment. Right, that's fine. Okay, so, we're going to hold on to this city for a while. I might eventually give it back to Dol Amroth, if Dol Amroth do well enough and manage to survive against the Viriags. If not, it becomes part of Greater Gondor.
Okay. They are gone from these lands. They are gone from these lands indeed. Our realm is expanded. We occupy. And I am going to yeah do a wee bit of merging up here, mostly just to try and cut down on costs. To be honest, let's let's add you. Oh no, hang on, that's uh, archers I was looking at there. Yeah, we will just leave you as you are then. No settle for that. Okay, so I'm going to put a break in here. And actually, what do we have? I didn't look at the city. So we've got Master Merchant's Guild Coaching House. Yep, Fairground. Okay, definitely keep Town Guard, City Upgrade, Stables, Master Mason's Hall, Meeting Hall, Conscription Camp. Allows the Lords of the King's Main to enlist the lesser men of the region to fight in the name of the South. Okay, we'll keep it then. I am going to put in a break here, and then next time out we'll come and we'll take Pilargar. So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers!